Hi guys, this is a quick preview of the project I've been working on for some time. It's called Zephyria and um, it is an RPG game or a single player RPG um, that has been, well, it was it started off as an MMO game. So um, there is some networking code in there if you wanted to use that, but I was thinking that you could um, use most of the backend um, to create your own RPG games. So if you wanted to, um, this would be, I think, a good time to uh, clone the repo and then um, basically start adding some stuff in your own um, in your own repositories. There's quite a lot of mess in terms of code um, because I've been taking stuff out and putting some um, refactoring some some stuff back in uh, but eventually i'll clean everything up and um, then it might be better to wait until then so basically i'm just letting you know um, what options there are um so essentially it is an rpg uh, and um, there are things that you would expect from a typical rpg like classes so this guy um, is novice. When you start the game, you start as novice. Um, there are three or four base classes like warrior, kind of type, mage, um, scout, or archer. I don't even remember now. Uh, these classes can ascend into other classes um, when you get to a certain level and then when you pass certain quests. Uh, the combat is quite sophisticated um, and more or less balanced because, um, like I say, it was supposed to be an MMORPG, so we had to balance things out in terms of um, attributes and stats. And um, yeah, right, I'll just probably go through um, windows here. So you got a hotbar where you have all the skills. Um, this hasn't, this isn't implemented yet. Um, it will be sometime soon. Then you have your basic info window. Uh, by the way, these windows are draggable, so you can just uh, move them around uh, and they can snap to um, window corners and stuff. So this is your basic information about your character. Health bar, uh, mana bar, base level, stat level, and job level. So you have three types of levels, unlike certain RPGs or unlike most RPGs. Your base level only increases your stats, uh, which can be found here in the character window. Um, you have got... Um, so these are the attributes which can be increased when you um, level up your stat level. So if we just um, kill this skeleton archer. So um, there are some basic animations and they're not refined yet. So by default, as you can see, you're dealing, uh, we're dealing on the zero damage. So if I equip the bow, I can try to attack it with a bow, uh, which is actually overpowered. So it will try to kill that um, monster. Um, right, so yeah, um, if you noticed when I equip the bow, the attributes change slightly. So if you hover over the items, it will tell you what um they are so description and um, various stats associated with them there aren't uh, many items in there so there isn't much content um as i might have said uh, so if you wanted to you could uh, easily create new items in the game and name them and add characteristics stats uh, basically anything you want and you can just send me an email i'll put them into the game database and they'll be in there in the next version uh, you can yeah so back to levels uh, you have your base level which is just stats you have stat level which increase attributes so that might be confusing so when you um, level up your stat level points are gained in terms of attribute points so you can actually increase these things um, and then job level is when you increase your skills, uh, which uh, are not implemented, so I'm not going to talk about that. So yes, strength, and when you hover over each attribute, it will tell you which stat it's going to increase the most. So as you can see, each attribute has effect on pretty much half of these things, and 
this is one of the reasons why I said that combat system is kind of sophisticated because when you increase um, one thing, for example, let's do intellect, many things um, increase at once, which means that there isn't a particular, particularly one sort of build that you're supposed to follow. Um, so if you're a warrior type character, it doesn't mean that you have to uh, invest in strength. You could in increase intellect, for example, then your skill damage will go higher and then you kind of change your build according to that. And there's supposed to be items that will allow you to sort of to suit your playstyle, I suppose. Um, what else? So we've got equipment. Um, there are five items, as you can see, the head, which is the helmet, and then the body armor, and then um, shoes, which by default, they don't give any um, any stats centrally, so there isn't any armor from default hat. But when you equip something like, what is that, chainmail, you get 10% uh, of armor and then, uh, or you're supposed to, so this will be fixed at some point. Um, it doesn't actually provide you any armor now. Um, and then, as you can see, there is strength plus two, which does work, so you get um, bonus attribute for wearing that item and then when you unequip it the bonus goes. Similarly um, there will be skills that increase your um, attributes for some time and for some duration. There are status effects and various statuses and well essentially the mechanic of the game apart from the combat mechanic steam but it's still being developed and at the stage of the game design so um, all of these things could change in the future uh, apart from that uh, I think there isn't um, really much to talk about so that is supposed to be a game map um, and in the demo there's probably going to be one map only and then one map where there is um, sort of kind of safe map, uh, maybe a city where you could go to and buy and sell various things that get dropped by um, monsters that you kill, like um, knives. Uh, there is, so you can equip to one, uh, so one-handed weapons like knives or one-handed swords. Two-handed items um, like bows will be equipped on both um, your um, right hand and uh, left hand. So the typical stuff, essentially. Um, there is going to be a cap um, for levels. So there's going to be a hundred level cap, possibly. Um, and yeah, I believe I've covered most of the stuff. If you are interested, send me an email and um, maybe suggest something that you want to uh, see in the game. That would be nice. Or just um, clone the repository and then play around with it. Um, it has a build file. It has a Maven build file. Um, so just type Maven package and everything will be built for you, including assets and the package application. I will leave the link in the description and um yeah basically enjoy thanks for watching